Okay, there you go. Alright, so today I want to show off what I have built uh, in my very little spare time the last few days. Um, yeah, it's my take on Adelaine. Adeline, Adeline, I don't know how they pronounce it. Um, yeah, the take, um, yeah, Airbus's take on reusable rockets. And here it is with a very small test rocket. So, yeah, this part down here is the main thing about other lane and let's just test it so yeah the idea with Adelaine is not to return the whole rocket as SpaceX is trying to do not the whole rocket of course but uh, the first stage um, Airbus wants to um, just get the part of the first stage back home which has the biggest economic value and that of course is the avionics and the engine. So they put wings on it. Okay. So, of course, I saw that uh, Scott Manley has beat me to the punch <laughs> with uh, his live stream and yeah, his take on Adelaine. But I didn't watch the whole live stream, I just watched a tiny part of it. But it seems that he didn't really succeed, so I think I can still show you all my little, little thing here. So let's get a little bit more up. So first of all, um, I did. M uh, I massively used um, tricks, gay. To, for example, the solid rocket boosters, of course, were just the hammer rocket boosters uh, scaled up to the 2.5 meter form factor. Also, this um, interstage, yeah, interstage fairing. I don't know, not fairing. Uh, interstage thing uh, is um, originally a five meter or three point seven five. I don't know, something like that. Scaled down to two point five meters. Um, Yeah, those wings are scaled, the canards are scaled, those propellers are scaled, so yeah. But in the end, I think I got quite where I wanted to be with it. So, first of all, it is not directly attached. Here, you will see once once I stage this, but instead has um, a procedural fairing, interstage fairing. So the bottom part is really just one part attached via an interstage fairing. I think it's, that's quite nice because that's exactly what. Um, yeah, what Airbus wants to do. Also, 
um, I adjusted the I adjusted some parts. For example, below this fairing there is um, a nose cone tank from Interstellar. Yeah, the Interstellar mod. Um, which originally only uh, supports fuel types from Interstellar. But I, of course, wanted to have liquid fuel and oxygen and a little uh, oxidizer, of course, which is oxygen, but whatever. Um, uh, which uh, helps me in getting the stage back and uh, fuels the propellers in the end. Um, yeah, normally I have um, remote tech installed, but I <laughs> I really needed to uh, disable it here for this demonstration. As yeah, as soon as I get below like three kilometers, when I go back down, um, I lose communications, and yeah. Before that, I'm not able to uh, to get um, yeah to get it out of the head dive. But you will see another thing I did, and why the fuel that is in the snow cone isn't showing here is I. Um, I used the uh, fuel flow breaker from Smart Parts. So as soon as I detach here, I can just use an action group and um, get all the fuel reserved in that nose cone tank. Yeah, this is taking a while. Yeah, this um, service bay just holds the uh, the probe core, some batteries, an antenna which of course isn't used, and I think yes, a um, yeah, some reaction wheels so that I can. Uh, more easily reverse that in the higher atmosphere and burn uh, retrograde to land on the KSC later on. So we need to at least start to circularize. Get all our fuel out. This yes. So the big tank is being ditched. This is empty. We don't need it anymore. And it can go its way. Now action group oh yeah, that was wrong of course. I should have thrown it back. But it's done one piece, so let's go and fire the thing. We can use all our fuel, all of our fuel here. We don't need it anymore anyway. So you see, I have plenty of liquid fuel left. Maybe I should 
adjust that. 200 units should be more than enough. But yeah, see about that later. So the only thing I have left to do is get in here and control from the actual pro core. I don't know if what uh, from what kind of thing it's controlling now, but it's definitely not the pro core. Yes. Yeah, now I can fly it like a plane. Which of course is nice. Yeah, I want to almost pancake directly so that most of the velocity um yeah, most of the horizontal velocity that's pointing away from the KSC is rested and we can start to get back as soon as possible because while these uh, turbofan engines I think are a bit bit OP <laughs> we'll see you later um, yeah it will still take a long time Really feeling the air pushing now. Now the wings are way, way there in the back, and I have to use a lot of, a um, lot of control surfaces to be able to uh, to control this thing. Also, I had problems as had uh, Scott Manley with control reversal but this seems to be fixed now S but I don't know how it's going to be um, when I uh, when I drained all of the fuel I haven't tested it uh, since I disabled remote tech so the actual part about getting back is a mystery to me now, but let's see. I hope it doesn't doesn't overheat. I'm yeah, really hitting the air now. Starting to pull up. Oh, no. This way, please. Hey, this might work. Yes, nice. Something hit the earth there, or the water, to be more precise. Uh, something destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. That's okay, I'm not playing a career mode here. Now let's get the landing gears on our belly again. And get far uh, more down. No, oh, let's see. Oh, what those engines are doing. Wow, they are loud.
They are. I think they are unnecessarily loud. Unnecessarily loud. I reduce north noise on KSP a bit. So yeah, we are on our way back. Nice. Now just hold steady, and in one or two hours we should be there. Alright. Might take a while. Go about a business, as Dr. Nafari would say. Hmm. Now I'm actually wondering uh, if that is enough fuel. Ah, oh, that was. I enjoy the silence in map mode. <laughs> Maybe I'll just quick save here and try to physics warp a bit. I don't know if that's a good idea. Let's see. Maybe just two times, or three. Yeah, three is okay too, but not four. Yeah, so I have to say I'm quite proud of this design. It has at least kind of a resemblance to the actual uh, Adelaine. Um, the actual one has a much smoother surface of course, it's all in one piece. Um, the old fairing stuff. Um, <laughs> The rotors aren't clipping through uh, the lifting surfaces on that one. It has some interesting looking canards there. It's like some flip, uh, yeah, flapping surface on a stick. It looks like, yeah, it's really strange, but I don't know. They have flown uh, some prototypes, so seems to work. Uh, and also the engine is enclosed completely in their design. But I wasn't able to get uh, the whole engine inside any of the bigger uh, bigger interstage thingies. So I'll just go with this. Again, too aggressive. Let's get back on track. Yes. So, around 50 units of fuel used, and still quite far away. <laughs> but 
that we cancel out uh, the re uh, Kerbin's rotation, so <laughs> that's something. <laughs> but, yeah, okay, not exactly. Ah. Let's get lower down, maybe the... the I don't know how they called Turboprop engine, okay. Yeah, maybe the turboprop engines are performing better lower down. That would at least make sense. So, let's see. Oh! Oh, maybe I should just target the old uh, abandoned space center. That's closer. And it I think that would be a nice touch. And I already see those islands, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll do that. It would be nice to be able to target some random spot. But I don't know, haven't heard haven't heard of any plugin that does this uh, any mod of course. Oh yeah. So I th think it is back there, yes. Whoop. That's a very fast turn. the lower atmosphere. Maybe I should just deactivate the roll on these surfaces. Yes. Yeah, okay, that should work. I think I'll cut this whole part uh, when I upload this to YouTube. So, to all the YouTube viewers, see you there. Cheers to all the all the one <laughs> uh, Twitch viewers. So cheers.
Okay, so the old landing strip is inside. Now let's see how this works. So the problem is the lifting surface isn't really that big, so I have to use the uh, turboprop engines until the very last moment, I think. Kind of throttle down a bit, but not that much. But let's see. On the one occasion where I actually landed this thing, uh, it behaved quite nicely. But as I said, you have to use the turboprop engines for a long time. Okay, let's get the gear out. Yes, there it is. Should be able to go down to, I think, 120 meter per second. I guess that should. Ah, 110 is enough to. Yes. Oh yeah, I added all those uh, control surfaces since the last time I tried this. So, I guess I would be able to flare much better. Whoa! But the most crucial part survived. <laughs> I call this a success. <laughs> ah, but yeah, let's try this again. Let's see where the uh, yeah where the quick save was. Okay, so let's just accelerate through most of the journey. Maybe... Uh, maybe that's working this time.
Okay, maybe this time I should try to land on the KC airfield. That's much smoother and probably more like what Airbus has in its hands. some other differences. Um, so with the Adelaine uh, plane, all the fuel that the, um, yeah, the turboprop engines need is stored in the wings, as is with a lot of planes. Um, so yeah, it doesn't have a tank in front but rather in the in the wings. Also, the the fans of the turboprop engines um, are behind fairings for the most part of the journey, uh, so that they are they are, don't get damaged. Of course, uh, yeah, fire spitter has has a folding, um, yeah, folding propeller, but it's electric, and I didn't want to use it. I haven't, haven't got any um, uh, any methods to get electricity out of this thing. I am only relying on the electricity stored, which is, yeah, quite a bit, but still, it wouldn't be enough to get it far away. So yeah, those uh, those engines do the same as with Adelaine consume um, consume fuel. So I think that part is on target. I see the space center back there. So, whoa, yeah. Oh, maybe I should save here. I'm still open to get to both of the sides. So yeah, this is not a nice place for safe. Mm -hmm. Yep, this looks about right. Okay.
got safe again. there and there are quite a bit of fuel left I can crank the oxidizer up a bit next time that's nice No, 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 I guess that's okay too. I don't know, it's strangely... Yeah, strangely it just wants to go right, I think, as soon as you touch down and begin to break. But still, success! Got down on the ground and only lost one little wing. Yay! So, I would conclude that project might work and might work uh, with much less effort than SpaceX's. Um, yeah, take on reusability. But we'll see. Airbus still has 10 years left to do its stuff and researching and do something. So we'll see about that. Yeah, in 10 long years. But whatever, we will have a lot of stuff. 
Uh, yeah, that's right. I did exactly that. Um, yeah, I didn't watch um, watch Scott's uh, live stream and uh, have just watched a tiny little slice of uh, yeah of what he uploaded to YouTube. Um, but he said in the description that it failed or he failed to build it, but I succeeded. <laughs> But yeah, with with a lot of um, lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I'm German, but that doesn't matter right now. Um, I will upload the uh, the craft file and everything. Um, yeah, once this is going up on YouTube. So yeah, you will find that in the description. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now that I'm uh, now that I'm done, all the people are coming into my stream. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just my luck. But whatever. Um, yeah. I will be streaming my um, my career mode a little bit today. <laughs> yeah, kind of, but yeah, <laughs> there are some black and white that's there, but okay, yeah, so I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just going to uh, stop the stream now, and maybe I'll see you later. Uh, when I'm going on with my career, I got some cobbles going to do now, so we'll see how that goes. Alright, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching and bye. <laughs>